The 16-year-old youth detained under Singapore's Internal Security Act for planning attacks on two mosques will undergo holistic rehabilitation. The efforts include religious counselling, psychological guidance and continued social support even after release. Now, it aims to correct his radical ideology and address his propensity for violence. ISD has made arrangements to facilitate his continued education while in detention. This includes arranging for tutors to assist him in preparing for his national exams this year. A mentor has also been identified for him. In addition, ISD is working very closely with the National Council of Churches of Singapore, or NCCS, which is keen to be involved in the youth rehabilitation to identify a suitable Christian counsellor for him. Minister of State for Home Affairs Desmond Tan was addressing MPs' questions about the youth's recent arrest. He added that Singapore has strengthened its laws against terrorism. Mr Tan cited key changes to the Terrorism Act that expanded prohibitions on financing terrorism activities. He highlighted the government's public condemnation of overseas terrorist attacks, which he said sent a clear message about where Singapore stands on the issue. He urged religious groups to show solidarity against violence. Mr Tan highlighted how local Christian and Muslim religious leaders met to reaffirm trust following the teenager's plot to attack those two mosques.